name is April Lachelle and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you some basic feminine hygiene tips that you probably do not know or you probably have forgotten about or your mama just didn't tell you. Stay tuned and stick around for this video. Alright, tip number one is make sure you wash your hair. Okay, so when you, if you start smelling your hair, somebody else smelling it too. You know, and if you feel like you, uh, whenever you do scratch your hair and you get like little uh, piece dandruff or whatever, you see that something between your nails, oh, sis, it's time to wash your hair. Okay, so you don't really need a lot of products to wash your hair. You can wash your hair every week. You can wash it every two weeks. Me being a mom of two, yeah, little kids, I really don't have a lot of time to wash my hair like I normally would do but I do try to make time to wash it in the shower so if you start smelling something between your fingernails and you start smelling your hair if you just sitting at your desk doing work then sis it's time to go wash your hair like if somebody else can if you can smell it somebody else can smell it too like sometimes when I know I need my hair washed and I don't like to get near people I don't like to get people hugs I don't want them all over my face because I know that my, my hair is stinking like I need to wash it so that is tip number one make sure you keep your hair washed and clean you can use a shampoo a conditioner or a treatment whatever you don't really have to have a lot of things to wash your hair all you need is water you need conditioner and you need a uh, shampoo the second tip is keep your nails cut and trim if you do not go to the nail shop like that if you don't go um, I do advise you keeping your nails trim and cut. I do try to keep mine cut. Um, I have not been to the nail shop in a long time. And so I like to keep my nails done. I always like to keep my nails done, my toes done, because it just makes me feel better. It's a form of self-care. But, you know, I just not had the time to go try to get my nails done. So what I do is I just take a basic clipper and I just cut my nails down. Because when I start to see my nails growing, and I, like I said, if I scratch my hair, then start smelling it then it's stained like <laughs> just wash your hair so if you, if you start smelling your hair and the first tip is wash your hair and the second tip is make sure you're keeping your nails cut and trimmed okay number three make sure you shave frequently make sure you're shaving your underarms because a lot of hair attracts smells. And so what you wanna do is make sure you're shaving good under your arms, shaving your legs or whatever else, and making sure you're shaving downstairs, honey. Because like I said, a lot of hair attracts bacteria and it, and it attracts smells. And once you shave the hair, then you good to go, honey. You ain't gonna smell nothing because you don't shave. So if you feel like you're getting bushy under there, then, and then you got deodorant spots and you got, if you got uh, pieces of deodorant stuck in your hair then it's time to go ahead and shave you can just use a regular razor go to the dollar tree and get your razor or you can use whatever you want you can use nair i i do i prefer to use nair but sometimes like i said i don't have time i'm a busy mom of two kids under five so i just try to take a razor get some shaving cream and just shave under there just to just to make me feel a little bit more fresh and make me feel bare so tip number two is making sure that you do shave frequently shave trim downstairs that's something that is just mandatory that we do so make sure you do shave down there Number four, make sure you're using an antibacterial soap. Okay, so if you're using Dove and it says Beauty Bar, you're not cleaning yourself. Mm -mm, you're not cleaning yourself. You should be using an antibacterial soap, okay? So if you're gonna use a Beauty Bar, if you're gonna use Dove, Caress, any of those products, you first need to use an antibacterial soap. Dove just came out with an antibacterial soap and it smells, oh my God, it just it smells out of this world. It smells so fresh, so clean. When you walk into a room, you can smell it and Normally, before you use like body wash and stuff like that, you're supposed to be using an antibacterial soap to make sure you're getting the germs and stuff off of your body. So if you ain't using an antibacterial soap, you since you ain't cleaning yourself, go to the store, get you a Dow antibacterial soap. Men products have um, antibacterial soap. Make sure the box says antibacterial. Okay, and then once you use your antibacterial soap, you can go back. You can go back in and wash your body and use a body wash or whatever. But the first thing is you use antibacterial soap. The next tip is making sure you clean your earring bags. Gosh, who knew? Who would have known that these these little earrings they they just smell so bad? Like if you ain't cleaning them, then it's gonna start to smell and they leak. 
like it smells so terrible and so what you want to do is not only use soap and water when you're cleaning your ear and bags make sure you use alcohol alcohol kills all of the germs it kills all of the germs so once you wash your earring back with soap and water let it sit for like 30 seconds and then go back in um no wash it with soap and water then get a piece of tissue put some alcohol on it wipe it down let it sit for like 30 seconds and put it back in your ear because honey them things be stinking i'm not saying i don't clean myself no that's not what i'm saying what i'm saying is we oftentimes as when we neglect it and so it makes our ears smell. And when people get close to our ears or our face, they're like, what the freak is that smell? So <laughs> make sure you are cleaning them earring bags, okay? The next one is wear cotton underwear. Do not wear no seal. Do not wear no thongs. Don't wear any of that stuff like that. That stuff can give you a yeast infection, give you bacterial vaginosis, give you all of that stuff. And that stuff is not good for you, okay? So make sure you're wearing cotton underwear. I'm going to tell y'all a tip that you're probably going to know. Make sure, well, me and underwear telling you men boxes boxes not the briefs men boxes because you want to make sure you allow your stuff to breathe down there and you know when i'm wearing boxes i'm like oh my god i feel so fresh i feel so clean i don't feel nothing's hugging and tugging at me down there so what i recommend cotton no silk no satin no nothing like that because it's going to be you're going to be more prone to infections where um you're going to wear men boxes or you can wear lady boxers it don't gotta be men's, but I, I wear men's. I wear my husband's. But <laughs> wear men boxes because it's definitely going to help you breathe down there. The next tip is making sure you wipe front to back. I know I had spoke to a girl. She was like, you wipe, um, I don't know what we were talking about. We were talking about something. She was like, oh, I didn't know you were supposed to do that. She talking about wiping front to back. Sis, what you mean you didn't know you were supposed to do that? You supposed to wipe front to back, not back to front. So I teach my daughter, look, you wipe from front to back, not back to front. Because if you walk, if you wipe from back to front, you bring whatever that's in the back of your behind to the front. And you, you, you making it worse for you. You making it worse for you to have to go to the gynecologist and get checked out. Make sure you guys, you take a piece of tissue and you wipe it really good front to back. Then go back in with a, a flushable wipe or whatever you know to make your your butt feel better <laughs> but yeah make sure you wipe front to back and whenever you wipe in front to back and there's nothing left on that tissue then you clean yourself good if you still see residue on the tissue from if you use bathroom you ain't wiping yourself good so go back wipe front to back front to back not back to front okay next tip is making sure you wear aluminum free deodorant a lot of these deodorants out here have aluminum in it. It's not good for us, it's toxic. So what I use is the Arm & Hammer um, deodorant. And it comes in a little small bottle you can get from your local family dollar and it costs about a dollar. And I don't think they sell them in the, the, the big kind. So what I get is the small uh, deodorant and it don't last long, but with the way my body is changing, I don't even think that works anymore, but in the beginning, it was working perfectly. I didn't have no smells. I won't get musty. I won't get sweaty or nothing like that. It just, it was actually working. But now I stopped eating red meat. I don't know if my body is changing or it does not react the same way as it does. But I got to find me a new deodorant. So if y'all can comment below and tell me what y'all use, what helps with, you know, excessive sweating. But it definitely helps. But I got to figure out what's going on. But like I said, the Arm & Hammer in the small bottle, you can get it from Family Dollar. I don't think Dollar General has it, but Family Dollar definitely carries it. It's $1, but it does not last long. So you probably have to stock up maybe like three or four, um, three or four at, at one time. The next is making sure that you clean downstairs with only water. You know, make sure you get the washcloth and you're really cleaning. So what you're gonna do is you're not gonna use any soap down there. You're just going to use water, hot, 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 hot water, nothing else. I know we all wanna smell like peaches and roses and things like that, but honey, it's not. Face the fact, we're not gonna smell like that. It, our stuff is gonna have a smell. So you should not be using soap. If you have to, use a baby washcloth. If you have to, use two different washcloths, one for your body and one for just right here. Okay, so sometimes I know the soap can can creep itself in there, but do not use soap down there because you're making yourself more prone to infections. And the last tip is make sure you eat right. I cut out all red meat, but I can do better with water. 
I struggle with drinking water. But red meat, I don't, you know, my mood has increased. I have more energy. I'm not moody. I'm not anxious. I'm not tired. I'm not sleepy. I feel motivated. I feel great. So our diet has a lot to do with, you know, us. When you start cutting out a lot of things, you start smelling better. When you start cutting out sodas and sweets like that, you start feeling better. And your poopoo don't stink. It stink is bad. So that's one thing I did cut out. All I eat is chicken, turkey, and seafood. I just feel like I'm 18 again. So I'm not vegan, but, you know, I'm, I'm one step closer to vegan. But I cut out all that stuff because it ain't good for us. It, it really is really not. It's really not good for us. That's it for today. This That's all the tips I got. I got more tips, but that might be for a later video. I don't want this video to be too long. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you do subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I do post a new video. Make sure um, you guys share, you like, you comment, you do whatever. And if you did like this video, make sure you comment below and, you know, introduce yourself. I'm just thankful for my community that I have built here on YouTube. And I'm looking um, forward to, you know meeting you all and so if you guys like this video make sure you share like i said share comment like subscribe so that is it for today ladies make sure you stay sane stay healthy and most of all stay beautiful all right i'll see y'all in my next video